Hello and welcome to this review of Captain Morgan's Sliced Apple. And I had it chilled in the freezer for a few hours. Would have had, had it overnight if I'd have remembered to do that. It's got the ship on the back. Embossed bottle. It says apple sl spiced rum. Premium rum with natural apple flavor, spice, and other natural flavors. 35% alcohol. Been on the market since around 2020. Couldn't pin down the exact date, but it looks like 2020. All right, coming out kind of thick and syrupy. Looks like apple juice, except for the syrupy part of it. Um, doesn't say anything about coloring, although rum can have coloring added and they don't have to disclose it. Okay, so it's a rum liqueur. It's running about $16.99 for a bottle at um, Total Wine & More, but I bought the, that's the regular size bottle. This liter bottle was at Mathern's on a special for $3.99 and there was no way I was passing that up. Nice alcohol legs. Without the chill haze, be clear gold, yes. Yeah, it smells like <clears throat> green apples. It smells more apple-y than the uh, Seagram 7 Crown Apple. That one just had a faint apple aroma and flavor. But it's still good, but you get more whiskey in that one, more bourbon flavor. Here it's just all green apples, so similar to the Taka green apple vodka which is all green apple. Let's go with the taste. Cheers. Sugary sweetness. Oh, here's another apple product I have. That's going to come later. A wine. Apple punch. German spice wine. Um. Like a candy green apple. but not if it had caramel on it, just like if it was like a dipped in um, just the clear sugar. Little rum underbody, medium body. Semi-sweet finish. Well, if you want to drink something that tastes like green apple, this is another option for you. Like I said, about $16.99 for the regular bottle at Total Wine & More. Maybe similar at Walmart. Um, but they had this super deal, a liter bottle. It's glass too, not plastic. A liter bottle for $3.99 at Mathern's. Don't know how they pulled that off. As you can imagine, that discount basket did not last long with this stuff in it. It was selling fast as is it put it in there and it was all gobble up and I was one of the gobblers so how about I score this AC cutting on it's a little bitterness underneath could be coming from the alcohol I think it's good now it gets a 4.2 on um, Google so a B getting a 4.8 on uh, Total Wine & More, so that's a 96, so they think it's most excellent, and it's only getting a 2.92. Not even passable there, you know, just like, like a poor grade on um, distiller.com, but um, I think it's good. I, I think I prefer the uh, Crown Royal, the Seagram. I never had Crown Royal. The Seagram Seven Apple because it's uh, got a little more of the whiskey flavor. They say it was a, it's a blend of aged bourbon and apple. Apple. I think I prefer that one. But this one's good. It did a good job at uh, Captain Morgan Distillery in uh, American Virgin Islands. Uh, But I think I'm going to go with a B, just like uh, with a Google. Let's say 85 out of 100, 8.5 out of 10. 
a good apple flavored rum and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to the United States Virgin Islands and tour the Captain Morgan Distillery.